Miss Cindy, I'd like to call your attention on uh, August 15th, tw uh, 20, 2015, a super loud car stereo was going from east to west, uh, a long black SUV uh, just about busted the windows in my place, um, I'd like to have him arrested, I want him thrown in jail, I want his vehicle taken away under 932 contraband, I want him arrested under 3015 of Florida statutes. He's probably down by Michigan Avenue. He's probably down by Michigan Avenue and uh, uh, 15th Street, or known as Highway 98. Probably to go down there to to the clubs tonight and sell his drugs on Saturday night. I want him arrested. I want him thrown in jail. Yes, sir. Okay, we will definitely have a officer. It's a long. It's a long black SUV. I want to thank you, Cindy. You know, you're you're a lot more uh, uh, courteous than, than a lot of them dispatchers, you know that? Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. So I'd like to have him under 932 contraband. I want his vehicle taken away permanently. I, he broke into my home. That's 1802 of the Florida statutes. That is a 15-year prison sentence to break into the occupied dwelling of a person's home with the concussion of his speakers. I, I'm just trying to figure this out, Cindy. How is it possible? Are the cops deaf or are the cops being paid off? I want him arrested. I can send an officer to you if you like, and they can answer those questions. Here's the thing. Here's, that here's the thing, Cindy. What do we accomplish by the cop coming here other than looking to push my buttons and try to throw me in jail, and yet that punk won't go after the boom car? What do we accomplish? The questions, you're, the questions you're asking me are not... All you got to do is send out 20... Uh, Cindy, send out... Would you like me to send send out... No, no, you send out 20 cars to get that punk. You intersect him on the, on the other side of Hathaway Bridge, and you have him arrested. It's a long SUV. He's probably got 20 speakers in there. I want him arrested. Okay, well, I want him thrown in jail. Well, let him know, sir. Okay, bye -bye. This is another recording here where the boom car is coming back the other way. Yes, uh, so Alyssa, Alyssa, um, I'd like to tell you, um, as of August 15th, uh, 2015 at 7, 7 o'clock, uh, a super loud car stereo, it was actually two, a black and a white pickup truck, I couldn't tell which one it was, super loud, uh, coming from uh, east to west, you could probably have him arrested down by the Hathaway Bridge down there, have him arrested, in a couple of minutes he'll probably be down there at Michigan Avenue, I want him arrested, Broken to my home, trying to live in my home in peace, Alyssa. And I'd also like him arrested under 3015 of Florida statutes disturbing the peace where you can take away his vehicle under 932 contraband. Okay, sir. We'll get an officer in that area to try to locate him, okay? Yeah, but see, here's the thing I don't understand, Alyssa. You can hear them blocks away. What are the cops doing? Are they too busy busting homeless people? Quietly drinking beers in McKenzie Park? Is that what they're doing? Sir, I'm going to have an officer in that area. I'm, I'm just wondering, Alyssa. Them punk sir, cops, sir, them punks sir, cop terrorize homeless people, but they won't go after the people. These punks that are destroying my right to live in peace, Alyssa. If you continue to yell at me, I'm going to disconnect the phone. Alyssa, I'm not yelling at you. Uh, Alyssa, sir, I'm not yelling at you. Bring your voice to me. I have told you I will go ahead Alyssa, and turn that area. Alyssa. Alyssa, I am not yelling at you. I was just trying to enjoy. I was just trying to enjoy my home. That's all. How you doing, Cindy? 
I, I just talked to you, uh, 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 you know, on Saturday, uh, August 15th, uh, it's 7 o'clock. I just talked to you uh, about a super uh, loud, uh, boom, carb, it's actually SUV, long, kind of an older model. He just came back up the road. He's probably at McKinn's, uh, listen to me, Avenue and uh, 15th Street, which is near the Kmart. I can't understand this. The cop couldn't find him. He's playing rap music right now. I'd like to have him arrested. I want him thrown in jail. Think of the thousands of people. Did you happen to get the tag on the SUV? Pardon me? Did you happen to get the tag now, on the vehicle? Uh, let me ask you something. Why is it that when the crybaby cops are violated by somebody, they all of a sudden don't need a tag? The Bay County Sheriff's Department didn't need no tag on a yellow Camaro when there was bank fraud going on. Now, why do I need a tag? First of all, number one, it's a four-lane highway. He's going at a high rate of speed, and and the cops can't see that that long SUV packed with speakers. Are they too busy terrorizing homeless people in McKenzie Park for quietly drinking beers? Now, I want him arrested, and I want him thrown in jail. Or are the cops... And the, and the dispatchers? Are, are you all getting paid off? We'll get an officer in the area to try to find that long black SUV. In the future, if you're able to get a tag, it will help us more readily identify the vehicle. Cindy, Cindy. Yeah, Cindy. I was, Cindy. But if not, if all you can get is a physical description of the vehicle, that'll work too. Cindy, Cindy. I wish I didn't have to call you all. All the cops got to do, Cindy is take down the no sleeping signs, no alcohol signs in the park, and put it every every intersection in Panama City. We hear the boom bass, we'll take your car. And then there's no more. They got all kinds of no loitering signs all over the place, no sleeping in the woods, no trespassing. How about taking them signs and converting them into, we hear the boom car, we'll take your car. And we'll throw you in jail for the rest of your life as American terrorists under 876 of the Florida statutes. Cindy, I'm trying to protect emergency vehicles. You fire an ambulance and fire department people. When a fire truck's going down the road, they got 30 tons of water. Do you think they can stop on a dime? And make sure it's an unmarked car. And make sure it's an unmarked car. Make sure it's an unmarked car. If there's nothing else, sir, I think we should disconnect. All right, Cindy, you have a good day. All I'm trying to do is I'm trying to protect my fellow Americans. That's all I'm trying to do. I want him arrested. Thank you so much for the call. We appreciate it. I want him arrested. I want him thrown in jail. Uh, Cindy, I can't believe it. I just talked to you. Did I not talk to you only a couple of minutes ago about, you know, the black SUV, you know, going from, you know, from east to west? And I, and I thought he was going down. Maybe he's going to get another drug shipment and go back down to the clubs. Because I know for a fact on National Geographic, I saw where Panama City is the largest drug dealing area in the world. This absolutely amazes me. Them goddamn motherfucking clowns have no mercy on a homeless person licking their wounds in life. Buys a beer. Buys a couple of beers. Goes down to McKenzie Park. Quietly drinks a beer. Then you got a piece of shit motherfucker, low life motherfucker, that takes an arrest and puts a five hundred fucking dollar fine on a homeless person, Teresa Wilder, who's got lupus disease. I bet you that fucking cop is probably the same type of person if he could. He probably his. Ancestors were probably SS guards. Yeah, the same people that didn't just just fucking shoot the Jews. 
took dull spoons and gouged their eyes out because they could do it. I'm just wondering if there's a huge fucking payoff that's going on in Panama City, Florida. I think that there's a great big huge fucking warehouse of drugs in Panama City and the fucking goddamn cops. Them motherfuckers are paid off. But they'll have no mercy on a poor broken down homeless person. They'll beat the motherfucking bushes to find a homeless person quietly sleeping in the bushes. And on a motherfucking lie, they'll take them motherfuckers. And chances are, the reason why they throw them in jail is because they get a kickback. Then they got a fucking goddamn investigation feed them motherfucking lowlife motherfuckers. And then a person trying to live in their home. God knows how many motherfuckers this goddamn motherfucker has disturbed. Oh, but that's just trivializing it. But the motherfucking idiot goddamn clown cops, they make sure and have their fucking cars out where, where the boom cars can see them. So they don't have to see that fucking shit. Yeah. Their oath don't mean a motherfucking thing. They take an oath under 876 of the Florida statute. Just to some of the felonies of these boom car punks. 80610, interference with emergency vehicles. That's a five-year prison sentence right off the bat. 874 is criminal gang signaling instrumentality. That's how they fucking deal the drugs. They don't have to say a motherfucking thing. Come out with a bag and say, yo, man, got your bag from McDonald's. And then the cops, they, they uh, n not only that, 932 contraband, they can take away their fucking vehicles. 3015 of Florida statutes. They can arrest them motherfuckers. No warrant is needed. Breach of the peace. There's so many felonies these goddamn boom car punks are under. But I believe the cops are fucking paid off. I guess the cops killed their conscience a long time ago. Take a homeless person, shivering, might be raining, and the only thing he might have is a beer to warm him and to warm his spirits, and they'll fucking take his freedom away. Oh, but they're supposed to have good moral character? What a motherfucking lie. And then when a person's trying to live in their home in peace, they want to terrorize them. They want to put charges on them. Because they're doing the lawful thing and calling the idiot fucking clown cops in the first place.